Yo guys, Stunner here. Man, we haven't done one of these in a while, but we're going over to Black Ops 1 here, playing some 5. We're only going to use shotguns only on this map, and it's been a while since I played this map. But anyways, enough of that. Let's get on with this challenge. It's going to be a six-part video. Uh, plan on finishing all maps but nuts for challenges. <laughs> And minus Dead Ops Arcade. So, yeah, guys. Uh, haven't done one of these challenges in a long time. Because we've been working on Black Ops 2 training tips and all that. As soon as we get done with that and get done with all the challenges done on Black Ops 1, we will head over and do training tips on this uh, game as well. Um... Uh, just download, well, I just made a title f or uh, intro for Infamous. Yes, that's right. Thunder, well, I will be playing Infamous 1 and 2 to get ready for Second Son. I heard great reviews of Second Son, so that's what got me to play the first and second one i got it for twenty dollars my brother had him with this ps3 bundle that he got and he said yeah i'm not gonna play these i'll give you if you give me 20 bucks i'll give them to you so i got them and and that's what we'll be doing uh got a lot of games lined up that's a good thing um keep me busy that's the whole point of doing challenges on black ops and black ops 2 um I don't know, we might fuck around on World at War, show you some cool glitches that I know on those uh, in those games as well. That'd be kind of cool to see, right? But I've been doing pretty good. It's been bone chilling cold, man. Woo! I think last night was negative 25 degrees. Uh, my pop is legitly frozen. I gotta wait till it unthaws a little bit so I, before I can drink it because I keep my pop outside. Cause it tastes better when it's really, 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 really cold. It just, it, it's just amazing. But not when it's negative twenty-five and it's an ice ball and I can't drink it. So, oh, that's where that chip went. Yeah, I lost a chip last night. <laughs> it's actually still pretty good. All right, we're gonna pick up quicker vibe. Yes, we did pick up the Olympia. Um. So this, so we can get this shotgun challenge. I, I had a hard time picking a challenge on this map. Because I was thinking through. I'm like, yeah, we could do pistols. Yeah, we could do snipers. Yeah, we could do a wall weapon. Yeah, we could do uh, uh, rockets, you know. Um, yeah, we could do one box pull. Yeah, we could do two box pull. Yeah, we could do a one box pull challenge, non-upgrade or with upgrade, you know. But I'm thinking the next map, we're going to just do, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to do one box pull challenge or two box pulls. And then we got to use the guns that we get out of the box. And we can also do the no power option. That's always available as well. We can give that a shot as well. Because I only did a no power on. And I take that back. I did a no power on buried and transit. Uh, those maps were easy to do it because that they added that tombstone perk in there. But, yeah, I mean, uh, I think the next challenge is we're going to do is we're not going to upgrade. We're going to grab the guns and just use those guns. But, yeah, this map was fairly easy at the start. I mean, I, I was just going through rounds, going through rounds, like going through rounds. And the Pentagon Thief fucked me up in the later part of, later part of the video. You'll see how it fucked me over. But... It happens. It happens to the best zombie players. I mean, shit. 25 was the limit I needed to reach, and that's what we did on this map. 25. Not one of my best games, but it, it works. It, I mean, it was entertaining. I mean, I do some funky shit uh, playing through this challenge, and we're going to pick up the stakeout here once we get enough points. That gun's going to be amazing to use. Because it's right there for the ammo. And this is where we're going to train at the whole time. It's like the best area to train. In my opinion. I mean everybody else has got their opinion. But I have to say this is like one of the best. 
There is a co-op strategy to this map. Uh, I guess I could let it out now. Uh, when we open the pack punch, two people could just chill there, and the other guy could just train out here. And there's just a couple windows, and two people can hold those windows down. The other guy could train and shit, and and all that good stuff. So that's just nice strategy we got for that map as well. See, because uh, what I was thinking in it. When I go through the zombie uh, training tips and all that, I could tell you certain things I've done co-op during these challenges and or during, you know, my experience playing co-op. Tell you what spots work really well in co-op, what spots, and then I'll show you what spots work in uh, solo um, as well. So that's the whole point of doing those, telling you where... What good places to train, what good not places to train. Uh, we cannot pick up that drop. That's another rule of thumb that I've come up with. We cannot pick up the death machine. Pick up the death machine, it's no longer that challenge. So. I mean, it'd be different if you were just knifing only, but I'm not going to attempt that. that. That'd be too hard to knife every single fucking zombie. I know you get the bony knife working until about 10, and that's about it. The taser knuckles are about 14 is when they're two hits. But it's like three to four hits by the time you hit 24, 23, 24, 25. It's like three to four hits, and there's no just there's just no way to do that. I mean, you probably could get away with it in Mob of the Dead when you just use the Hell's Retriever and the Hell's Redeemer, and that's it. That's all you use, but... But, yeah. And I will be playing through Farm to see how far we get. I did get... I was disappointed. I was on pace for 40 rounds on Farm. I was at wave 35, all right, and a zombie, and I was uh, uh, I didn't have any more quick revives. I was I just about tossed the monkey out. As soon as the monkey landed, the fucking zombie double tapped me, and I didn't have jug, and I was pissed. I'm like, come on, I did all that for nothing. So yeah. I'm working on that map. Uh, that map is just going to be a pain to get to. I, I'm shooting for 40 on that map. And I'm hoping we can get there. Because I haven't hit, uh, hit 40. The closest map that's been at 40 was Shinonuma World at War. Um, and Moon Black Ops 1. 37 both solo. So that's my highest solo. My highest co-op is in the map. Darice, we made it to wave 44. So. That was pretty epic. Uh, it took, that that game took six and a half hours to get that far. So. Because we were, we were playing like that. We were at with three people and the third guy left about mid-twenties. So we, we played basically a, a good, almost... Almost 25 more rounds, 25 rounds without them. I mean, it would have been 50 without them if we hit 50. But man, that was a crazy game. It was a fun game. The only thing I was taking them out was the traps and the teleporter and the wonder waffle. That was pretty much it. Ray gun, not so much. It was just making crawlers. And anything now, this, now we're doing this. How to how far we get? Anything goes. Ray gun, Mark II ray gun. All the uh, all the guns are available in the box. Monkey bombs, uh, uh, any type of wonder weapon. See, in transit, we'll be using the hell out of the jet gun. I mean, we're gonna build that and we're gonna use that see, for how far we get. Um, definitely getting that. Slicker fire, we can use that we're gonna try and mob of the dead get two blunder gats because i heard you could because you can get it from the box and also from the warden's desk or table or whatever you want to call it and get two blunder gats use that get the hell's retriever get the spork get everything that we need to survive the the get to high rounds barry we're going to use like the uh the uh paralyzer uh origins the staffs we're going to see if we can upgrade all the freaking staffs. All the staffs. 
And we run on ammo. We just trade out the staffs, get the Mark II, and we should be set for Origins. I could see Origins. I could probably get pretty damn far if I don't fuck up. I want to stay, probably just try staying in the main room till 6. Hopefully, we can get a shit ton of points and go open shit up, start getting parts and stuff. Probably get Chug. Probably get the lightning staff built. Get that all built. Get, get all the staffs built. And all that. And look up how to do the... I have to look up how to do the other upgrades for the weapons. And I will probably not record that much of that gameplay. Because uh, what I could do... What I'll do with Origins is I'll play the first six rounds. And we'll stop the recording there. And then... I'll get everything set up, and then we'll come back on so you guys don't have to see that. I'll just tell you what I did when we're, when we're playing through the rounds. So this way, the videos can go quick, 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 and I don't have to, you guys don't have to sit there for 15, 20 minutes to set up. Just like, for example, Transit, I will not record it till I get everything set up, and then we'll start recording. And just say, hey, look, I set up round one so you guys didn't have to see it. Cause it, it, it I've seen Black Ops 2 be a problem. Die Rise, um, Origins, Buried, and uh, Transit being a bitch to set up. Mob of the Dead is not that hard to set up. Because you're just going to gonna build the shield, turn everything on, and... Do do steps for the the dogs and the uh, spork stuff. So yeah, I mean the only thing you're gonna see is probably a pause here and there to get weapons from the box and all that. So that'd be the only delay you'd get. So I'm, what I'm gonna try, what I'm gonna do is basically limit limit it. Oh my god, I can't say that word. Limit the searching or setting up of the map black ops 1 doesn't really have that much to set up it's basically the old school way you're just going in there killing zombies and you don't have to worry about setting anything up except getting weapons from the box if you need it uh that that little thing there that i got stuck on is going to be the big factor of my demise in the later parts of the video you will see that we get stuck there are quite a few times throughout this whole game so you will see that and i basically don't have enough points so i'm kind of just training around getting that open that's the key to get everything open i was like oh god oh boy it's like whoa man can't go down yet. It's only round seven. So yeah, that's the plan of action we're gonna take with Black Ops Two and how far we get and Black Ops One. Black Ops One, Varrot. It's obvious to get the winner's howl and probably a Thompson will run her MP40. Um, for Shino Numa, Wonder Waffle, Ray Gun. Uh, I'm going to open everything up in this area now. Uh, and we get the Pentagon Thief. And this guy is a... I didn't realize this guy got tough to kill uh, in the later rounds. It, that That's another factor why I went down as well. I did a stupid ass mistake that you will see in the later parts of the video. See right here, I'm keeping up with him. Hate how you go through the damn teleporter and the fucking tele, the fucking uh, gun goes away, which pisses me off. Probably gonna lose my Olympia here. All right, we kill him. We killed him easily. There, you you got took down easily, but yeah, he he's a. Pain in the ass, man, when it in the later rounds. Well, back what I was saying, 
Uh, what was I saying? I said, Degrees would be Wonder Waffle, probably Ray Gun. Um, you know what? I'll probably go Wonder Waffle Thompson or something. I don't know. Get, no, get me okay. It'll be Thompson, Ray Gun, Wonder Waffle. Ray Gun will be used for dogs, and Wonder Waffle will be getting through those tight spots. Uh, Ascension. And Ascension. Will be probably Thunder Gun Ray Gun, and we're not gonna worry about a lot of perks. We're gonna keep drugs shut, so this way the monkeys don't take it, and we're just gonna block Quick Revive because that that perk we need to block. <clears throat> Call the Dead. It would be the scavenger and and probably a ray gun and killing George getting a wonder waffle as well uh, shinger la uh, I don't know about that map. I have to play through that map before we do any challenges cuz man that's a tight map like real like there's not really good areas to train so we'll have to play through that map to see if we can find a decent legit area to train uh, power is not bad. I mean, we might run through there, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, moon? No question about it. There's a lot of good spots in Moon to train. We can train at the spawn. And with Moon, we'll probably use the Wave Gun. Ray Gun. And probably flip the AK. And upgrade the AK. Kino, Thunder Gun, Ray Gun, Five, Ray Gun, Winter Howl, and probably the Crossbow because that's also a monkey too. So give us an extra set of monkeys. And the Ray Gun will be basically used to take out the Pentagon Thief. So that'll be the goal for that. those maps for Black Ops 1. We're doing fairly decent here, round nine. We got jug and quick, uh, no downs. There's the stats if you want to look at that. Um, we're doing decent. We haven't died yet, which is awesome. And this video is just about to wrap up. We get the nuke here to end around. And this is Thunder. And peace out till part two of Five Zombies. See you around.